Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this fourth video on statistics for data science, I am going to discuss the concept of quartiles. Let us see what you will learn in this video. First, I am going to discuss introduction to quartiles. Then introduction to quartiles formula for ungrouped data. Next examples based on it. Then we will see introduction to quartiles formula for group data and then examples based on it. Now let us proceed with first point introduction to quartiles. In statistics, quartiles are the values that divides the data set into four equal parts, helping to understand the distribution and spread of the data. A data set is divided into four quartiles as follows. First quartile denoted by Q1, also called as the lower quartile. It represents the 25th percentile, meaning 25% of the data lies below this value. Second quartile denoted by Q2, this means the median, that is 50th percentile, which splits the data into two equal halves. Third quartile denoted by Q3, it is also called the upper quartile. It represents 75th percentile, meaning 75% of the data lies below this value. Next we see what is interquartile range. It is also called as IQR. It is the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. So IQR is nothing but Q3 minus Q1. It measures the spread of the middle 50% of the data and is useful for detecting outliers. This chart will also help you to understand quartiles. If this range represents the 100% of the data, then its median represents quartile 2, below which 50% of the data values lies. And Q1 represents the value below which 25% of the data values lies. Similarly, Q3 is the value below which 75% of the data values lies. And this is your interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1. So guys, if you wanted to find out quartiles, first of all, you have to identify what is the median of the data. That median is quartile 2. Then you have to find out what is quartile 1. Quartile 1 is the median of the lower half of the data. And then you have to find out quartile 3. Quartile 3 is the median of the upper half of the data. Then finally you can find out interquartile range by simply subtracting Q1 from Q3. I hope guys you understood this concept. To understand it more clearly, let me help you with an example. Let us consider an example. The test course of 10 students is given in this way. Let us first arrange this data in ascending order. So I am rewriting this data in ascending order. Next. First of all, we will find out what is quartile 2, which is median of the data. Here, there are 10 values. So median lies between the 5th and the 6th value. So it is the average of 5th and the 6th value. I found quartile 2 is 70 plus 75 divided by 2, which is 72.5. It lies over here. So this is our quartile 2. It is also our median. Now below this quartile 2, we have this lower half of the data. We will find its median that median is nothing but quartile 1. Similarly, we will find out the median of the upper half of the data. That median is nothing but quartile 3. Let us see first quartile 1. As I said, quartile 1 is the median of the lower half that is data 42, 55, 60, 64 and 70. Median of this data is 60. Therefore, Q1 is 60. Similarly, we can find out quartile 3. As I said, quartile 3 is the median of the upper half. Upper half values are 75, 80, 85, 90 and 95. Its median is 85. Therefore, quartile 3 is 85. Finally, you can find out interquartile range using formula Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1 here is 25. So, IQR is 25. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now, let us see some more examples on it. Here in this first question, we are asked to find out Q1, Q2, Q3 and interquartile range for the following data. Look at this data closely. This data is not arranged in ascending or descending order. So after proceeding for the solution, we will first arrange this data in ascending order and rewrite it. So after rewriting this data in ascending order, we have this data. The total values in this data set are 19. It is an odd number. Therefore, its median lies at 10th place. Here we see the 10th value is 5. You can count that those values. Therefore, median of this data is 5, 
and since median is nothing but quartile 2, here quartile 2 is 5. Now we proceed for quartile 1. Quartile 1 is the median of lower half of the value. Here in lower half, we have 9 values. Therefore, its median lies at 5th place. And on 5th place, we have value 3. Therefore, quartile 1 is 3. Similarly, we know quartile 3 is the median of the upper half of the values. The upper half of the values are the last 9 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Therefore, their median is also at 5th position. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, on 5th position, we have 9. So, quartile 3 is 9. I hope guys you understood how I found quartile 1, 2 and 3. Now, let us find out what is IQR. IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Here, Q3 minus Q1 is 6. So, IQR is 6. Now, let us proceed for next example. Once again, a similar example is given to us where you are asked to find out Q1, Q2, Q3 and IQR for the given data. In very first step, we rearrange the data and rewrite it in ascending order. Here, there are total 15 data values. Again, odd number of data values are given. Their midpoint is at 8th place. Therefore, here median that is quartile 2 is 9. Look at the 8th place value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8th position, we have 9, therefore median that is quartile 2 is 9. Now, below this, we have 7 data values. So, quartile 1 will be at position 4. At 4th position, we have value 7. So, quartile 1 is 7. Similarly, we will find out quartile 3, which is median of the upper half of the values. Here, I see median of the upper half of the values is 13. Therefore, quartile 3 is 13. Now we find out IQR which is Q3 minus Q1 which is 13 minus 7 which is 6. I hope guys you understood how to find out quartiles and interquartile range for ungrouped data. Now let us see how to find out quartiles for group data. In step 1 we identify the quartile class. For a data set with n total observations, the position of quartiles are as follows. Q1 is at position 1 by 4 of nth value, Q2 is at 1 by 2 of nth value and Q3 is at 3 by 4 of nth value. Next we find the cumulative frequency and locate the class interval where each quartile position falls. In step 2, we use the quartile formula denoted by QK given by L plus K into n by 4 minus f upon small f into h where L stands for lower boundary of the quartile class, N stands for total number of observations, K is the quartile number, 1 for Q1, 2 for Q2, 3 for Q3. F, capital F stands for cumulative frequency before quartile class, small f stands for frequency of the quartile class and H stands for class width. Now let us see how to find out quartiles of the group data with the help of an example. In this example, we are asked to find out Q1, Q2, Q3 and IQR for the following data. You can see this data is a group data. First row consists of class intervals and second row consists of corresponding frequencies. Let us proceed for the solution. Let us first find the cumulative frequencies of each class. For that, I am going to use this tabular format. In first column, I am writing class intervals. In second column, I am writing corresponding frequencies. Data of these two columns is brought from this table. In third column, I am writing the cumulative frequencies. Cumulative frequency of the first class is 5 as it is. Cumulative frequency of the second class is 8 plus 5, 13. Cumulative frequency of third class is 12 plus 8 plus 5 is 25 and so on. Last cumulative frequency is 55. So, the total of frequencies is 55 that is summation fi is 55 which means n is equal to 55. Now, let us find out q1, q2, q3 positions. First, we find q1 position. We know q1 lies at n by 4th position. Here n is 55, so 55 by 4 is 13.75. So, q1 lies at this position 13.75. 
and 13.75 lies over here, not here, because there are 13 values up to this class, beyond which we have up to 25 values in the class 20 to 30. So Q1 lies in the class 20 to 30. Q2 lies at the position n by 2. Here n by 2 is 27.5. Let us locate 27.5 in cumulative frequency. It lies over here because up to here there are 25 values beyond which those values lies in the class 30 to 40. So Q2 is at position 30 to 40 class. Now we find out Q3's position. We know Q3 lies at the position 3n by 4. Here 3n by 4 is 41.25. Let us locate this value in the cumulative frequency. Once again 41.25 lies over here. Therefore its corresponding class is 30 to 40. Let us carry forward this data. Now we will calculate Q1. We know Q1's formula is L plus K into n by 4 minus capital F upon small f into h where L is the lower boundary of the quartile class. Q1 class is 20 to 30, therefore L is 20. Let us note it down. Capital F stands for cumulative frequency before the quartile class. Here quartile class is 20 to 30. Therefore cumulative frequency before quartile class is 13. Therefore capital F is 13. Small f stands for frequency of the quartile class. Here small f is 12. So f is 12 here. H is the class width, here I see class width is 10 and N is 55. Let us substitute all these data values in this formula and simplify it. After simplifying, we see Q1 is 20.63. Now let us proceed for Q2. Q2's formula is L plus 2 into N upon 4 minus capital F upon small f into H, where L is lower boundary of the quartile class. Here quartile 2's class is 30 to 40. So capital L is 30. Capital F is the cumulative frequency before the quartile class. Here quartile class is 30 to 40. Therefore cumulative frequency before it is 25. So capital F is 25. Small f is the frequency of the quartile class which is 20 here and h is 10 again. After substituting these values in this formula and simplifying we get Q2 is equal to 31.25. Finally we proceed for Q3. Q3's formula is L plus 3 into n by 4 minus f upon small f into h, where L is lower boundary of the quartile class. Here quartile 3 class is 30 to 40, therefore L is 30 again, capital F will be 25 again, small f will be 20 again, h is 10 again. The only value that will differ from Q2's value is k. In Q2, k was 2 and in Q3, we will use k is 3. So after substituting all these values and simplifying, you will find Q3 is 38.125. Now let us find out IQR. IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is 38.125. Q1 was 20.63. After subtracting, we get IQR is 17.5. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now it is your turn to solve one example. Here is an example for you. Please find what is Q1, Q2, Q3 as well as interquartile range for this data. You can tally your answer over here. Please write me in comment box whether you got this solution or not. Please also write me whether you understood the concept of quartiles or not. Till I publish my next video, keep watching my videos, keep solving these examples. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.